Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show today. So today we're going to be diving into something that's kind of a weird, really rare niche kind of topic, which is how to get out of check systems jail. So look, this may be pertinent to you or maybe not, but this is for anybody that's had issues with banks in the past and is trying to get new bank accounts set up, but you're not able to because you're in a system called check systems. And if you're in check systems, then you probably already know that it's very difficult to open up another bank account account. So how do you get out of this? How do you get out of check systems, Joe? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be diving into and talking about today. So before we jump in, my name is Ty Crandall. I'm actually the CEO here at Credit Suite. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to give us a call. For free to, feel free to send us an email. Our email is info at creditsuite.com. That's info at creditsuite.com. And our phone number is 877-600-2487. If you are listening on iTunes, give us a quick review. If you're watching this on YouTube, then if you like this, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We'll notify you every week when we go live. And if you'd like a free guide on building business credit, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash EIN. So what is Check Systems? Well, according to their website, they're a nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Check Systems clients regularly contribute information on closed checking and savings accounts. So what is Check Systems? Basically, they're a credit bureau, but what they deal is they only deal with or they mainly deal with information about bank accounts, closed accounts, closed checking accounts, closed savings accounts, uh, uh, collections that stem from bank accounts. So, again, you know, it's easy to forget that there are hundreds, if not thousands of credit bureaus here in the United States, Now, TransUnion, Equifax. Experian, we're used to them, and they gobble up the smaller guys. Okay, once anybody gets any kind of footing, then they kind of gobble them up and buy them out. But there's a lot of different credit reporting agencies out there. Check Systems is just one type, but they deal with a very specific niche, which is dealing with bank accounts and bank account history. So, according to Check Systems, they add on their website: Check Systems provides services to financial institutions and other types of companies that have a permissible purpose under the FCRA. Check Systems service primarily assist its clients in assessing the risk of opening new accounts. So again, their primary goal, they are a credit bureau and they are designed to basically gather information about banking institutions, how banking accounts are managed, checking and savings accounts, and then use their data to help other banks that are opening or letting those people open accounts uh, do so safely uh, with some kind of data, letting them know that somebody did or didn't have defaulted accounts in the past. So what is it check systems? Well, they're not a collection agency. Check system, according to them, will never contact a consumer as part of an effort to collect the debt, does not make unsolicited calls to consumers. They'll never require payment from a consumer in order to investigate the accuracies of their reporting information, nor will they ever require payment in order to remove inaccurate consumer reporting information. So again, what they're basically saying according to them, is look, we're not going to let anybody pay us money to have this information removed. And then therefore, the information is seen to be more accurate, which is what obviously banks are looking to get. That's what they're looking for. It is accurate information regarding these people's past management of bank accounts. So what's it used for? Well, some banks and credit issuers will use it. They're looking for more information on your credit habits. They're also reporting on non-sufficient funds, closed accounts, overdraft. So think of it like this. If you're going to go to Bank of America, and open a bank account, Bank of America would sure like to know if your Chase bank account was just closed because you overdrew the account, left the negative balance, and took off without paying that negative balance, right? Well, that's ultimately what Check System does is it gathers that data and gets it to banks so they can make um, decisions based on knowledge and research on whether they should or shouldn't open an account for you. So many people have no idea Check Systems even exist until they're turned down for a loan or cannot open an account. And this is what typically happens. Most people don't even know what check systems are. As a matter of fact, most people that will find this video on YouTube, for example, are people that had this happen. Their bank account was turned down. They were served a notice that stated that they were turned down because of information obtained from check systems. Remember, the Fair Credit Reporting Act requires that, is if you're ever going to get turned down for any reason and they it's data is used from a reporting agency, then you are to be notified by law that the reporting agency that was pulled to use to make the, to use to make the decision. Okay, so check systems. What happens is ultimately um, they're coming in supplying these reports to banks, but typically you as the customer you don't even know about check systems until you run into a problem. And 
until you've been denied a bank account, then all of a sudden you're told that you're denied because of what's happened on this check systems report. So how do you get a check systems report? Well, the first step to any dispute is looking over your report. So you can go right here, checksystems.com. Now you can go and just search on their website how to get a report. Yes, this is a pretty big deal. So if you're watching this, take a screenshot of what I have right now. And if you're listening, I'm going to give you the actual direct link. You can also go to check systems link. Most people have no idea how to find out what's on their check systems report. This is exactly how you do it. You go to checksystems.com. It's check C H E X systems.com. So checks C H E X systems.com forward slash web W E B forward slash check systems. I just showed, told you how to spell it forward slash consumer debit D E B I T forward slash page forward slash request reports forward slash consumer disclosure. Now, again, if you're watching this, take a screenshot and you can also go to checksystems.com directly to get this. Now, you got to verify you're over 18 years old or you have to have an adult request the report. You're going to have to enter your date of birth, your address, and your social to be able to get the report. And on average, you'll get it in paper mail in about five business days. So, this is one of the most commonly, commonly requested questions I have. How do I get a copy of my check systems report? How do I know before I apply what banks can see? And if I've already been denied, how do I know what information they're looking at that they made a denial decision? Well, guys, there you go. That's a free way to, or that's an easy way for you to come in and be able to get your report right from check systems. And I remove the word free because they may charge for it. I don't know if in the future they'll charge for it or not, but it's an easy way to get your check systems report to see before you apply exactly what's on your or what's in your actual history. So check systems uses a different scoring al algorithm than any of the reporting agencies you're used to. Their numbers run from one to, uh, 100 to 899. A higher score means a lower risk. Now you can go to kind of where I just told you, checksystems.com forward slash web forward slash check systems forward slash consumer debit uh, forward slash um, other page forward slash request your score to get your score. So I just gave you a way to get both your score and to get your actual report as well. Now you'll need to either paper mail or fax your request. It's not something you can do online, but you can get the information you need to do it there. And you should get a response within about 15 days of what your actual score is. Now how do check systems help consumers? Well, the company keeps track of check fraud. They also record non-sufficient funds and overdrafts. So that's something you want to know. You know, um, I've talked about this topic before, what banks look at to determine if your business bank account meets criteria to get, get approved. Well, look, if you're overdrawing your bank account, your personal bank account, for example, and you've got non-sufficient funds, you have overdraft charges, a lot of people don't know that those are getting reported to a reporting agency, which is check systems. So it doesn't just show if you defaulted on an account. It even shows non-sufficient funds and overdrafts. Now, when you privately sell a car or a home, you want the buyer to pay you or get a loan to pay you from a reputable lender. Check Systems alerts credit issuers when a borrower has a history of poor account management. And that way, if, for example, if a private buyer doesn't get funding from a reputable lender, that's a cue to you that they may not be a good risk, right? But again, it might not be just because of Check Systems data. It might be because of another, but there's an example of how you as the end consumer may actually end up using this. So just like the big reporting agencies that Check systems offer security alerts and freezes. If you think you've been the victim of identity theft, then a check systems alert and freeze may save you money in the long run. It's particularly important in regards to the 2017 Equifax dead, dead security breach and so many other breaches that we've had recently. So you can put on a seven-year security alert by going here, checksystems.com forward slash web forward slash check systems forward slash consumer debit forward slash page forward slash identity theft forward slash security alert. So listen, you need to be aware before you put any kind of security alert on your credit report. You have to be. Because what happens is the minute you do that, it becomes more difficult for you to do a lot of things. Meaning whenever you apply for a loan, for example, they call you to verify your identity. Okay. So and that's not to say with check systems, that's in general when you add something like this on a credit report. So for example, I disputed an inquiry I didn't recognize on my consumer credit report. They automatically put a security alert on my credit report. I then went 
eight months later to buy a car in a completely other state. I live in Florida. Washington State's the complete opposite of the United States. They made me fly there to sign the paperwork because the alert was on my credit report. I literally, I woke up in the morning, flew all the way to Washington, signed the paperwork, flew back all night, and 24 hours later, I was back, all because of that security alert on my report. So this is a seven-year security alert. So you got to be careful of that because you add that to your credit your your credit report, then what happens is whenever you go to open a bank account, they're going to scrutinize you more than if you didn't have this alert. So something to be aware of. So this requires the use of a paper uh, affidavit, which must be notarized. If you suspect you've been the victim of identity theft, it won't hurt to add that to check systems. Uh, but again, as I mentioned, you will have drawbacks every time you go to create a, business or a bank account. So you can place a freeze here, checksystems.com forward slash web forward slash check systems forward slash consumer debit forward slash page forward slash security freeze forward slash place freeze. And again, if these URLs are too long, no worries. If you go to check systems and look and search for what you're looking for, you'll probably find the link as well. I'm just giving you the direct link uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to actually find. Now, you got to verify you're over, over 18. You're going to have to input your social, your date of birth, your address, and there may be delays as there have been more requests since that 2007 Equifax data breach. And they'll give you a PIN number as well. Now, if you want to lift the freeze, then you can do that by going to check systems com forward slash web forward slash check systems forward slash consumer debit forward slash page forward slash security freeze forward slash lift freeze so now you have a way to freeze the report and also to unfreeze the report so disputing check systems reports ta-da this is the main thing if you've had problems with check systems this is probably what you're wondering how to do so you have the right the, the right to dispute any errors and accuracies or incomplete data here's the good thing the good thing is that you learned already that they check systems operates under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And that's great news because that means you have the same rights to dispute information on your check systems report as you do on any of your consumer credit reports. And remember, in the business world, there is no Fair Credit Reporting Act. So like the rules that you follow to dispute business credit accounts or reports are way different than consumer because of that. But check systems is regulated under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So that means you can have the same rights under the FCRA to dispute the account. Now, you're going to need documentation for this. You'll also need to keep details organized. If your dispute is over more than one item, that has to be clear. Okay. So again, if you're disputing multiple items, you're going to want to let them know that. So you want to go to paymenttraining.articulate-online.com, uh, P forward slash 634-205-9705 forward slash story underscore HTML5.html. And if you go there, then there's a pretty cool article and a video that will actually only take a few minutes to watch. And it does uh, say it doesn't seem to be in any language other than English. And some of the video is a little boring. So it's not a great blurry, a great video. Okay. But again, um, it still will walk through the steps of how to dispute. Now, there are a few different ways to dispute. You can do it online, fax, mail, or phone directly at the source of the info. For example, the actual bank you could dispute with them directly. Now, Check Systems contacts the furniture of the allegedly incorrect information in five business days, okay? So if you say, no, um, I never had a defaulted account with Bank of America, they contact Bank of America within five days, then that furniture investigates. The investigation is complete in 30 days or 21 days for residents of Maine. And then action is taken, either to amend or delete the information or to maintain the status quo. Now, again, to dispute online, you can go to checksystems.com forward slash web forward slash check systems forward slash consumer consumer debit forward slash other page forward slash online dispute. Now, you're going to have to verify you're over 18 years old or have an adult help you and minors cannot dispute via the internet unless an adult's permission. You input your date of birth, your social and your address and of course the dispute details. Enter the requested information including your check systems ID. If there is one, it's on your report. Okay, so again, in order to dispute any information, you need to know what you're disputing. So you got to go through that first step I showed you on how to get a check systems report. Okay, now once you've done so, that'll give you the check systems ID that you can use to actually process the dispute. Now you can dispute multiple items, but they're entered in separate fields. So they know they're separate items you're disputing. You can then add documentation via upload. So maybe you have proof. 
maybe you have some kind of some kind of supporting documentation or proof. Now, you may be watching or listening to this and saying, look, I don't have proof. That's okay. The beautiful thing about the Fair Credit Reporting Act is it puts the burden of proof on the creditor itself. You don't have to prove it. They have to prove it. And that's what the law requires. And this is why I say anybody that has any kind of issues on their credit reports consumer-wise, you should dispute those items because every point of data must be accurate for it to be on the credit report. So if the high credit limit or the balance or the account number is even a little off, the law says it's got to be fixed or it's got to be removed. And this is why disputing consumer credit and owning a company many years ago that did that and selling it many years ago, I learned that about 80 to 90% of derogatory items can be removed just by disputing it. So don't think that just because you have don't have supporting documentation, there's nothing you could do. My advice is if you believe it's to be incorrect, you follow this process, get your report, dispute the information, put the burden on proof to the lender or the bank to actually supply. And when you do this, like I said, statistically, I've seen eight or nine out of 10 times, they just remove the item versus going through the actual steps to get it removed. Now, that's not with check systems. I have I used to do help a lot of people with consumer credit, not check systems, but it's worth your time to come in and to actually process a dispute with them to see if you can get that inaccurate information removed. Now, investigations could take up to 30 days, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. If you add information during the investigation, investigation, that can add 15 more days to the process. So if you say, hey, I'm disputing this account, then you mail them a week later and say, oh, I have another account to dispute. Just keep in mind that can delay it a couple of weeks. Therefore, it pays to provide all the information up front with the first time you dispute it. This includes getting your report before you even start. So to dispute by mail or writing, you can go to Check Systems Incorporated, Attention Consumer Relations. The address is 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100. Woodbury, Minnesota. That's Woodbury, W-O-O-D-B-U-R-Y, Minnesota, 55125. That's how to dispute your information by mail. Now, your disputes have to have your name, your social security number, your current mailing address, your consumer ID if available, and identify the information being disputed in the specific nature of your dispute. Look, I personally will tell you that I think it's a good idea to provide proof of identity as well. A driver's license, a social security number, or a social security card, or both. And I tell you that because if you process a dispute with TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian on a normal dispute, they're going to send it back unless you can verify your identity. With this, just save time. Even if they don't ask for it, send the identity to verify it's you processing the dispute. That way it saves time and you don't have to worry about them coming back and telling you that they don't no, it's you actually doing the dispute. So how did you dispute by phone or fax? Well, you can dispute by phone by calling Consumer Relations at 800-513-7125. Select the option to speak with a representative. You must have a report in hand when you call. Dispute by fax by faxing to 602-659-2197. 602-659-2197. Which is better? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't. I'm not sure which is better. Now, I could tell you with consumer credit disputing, fax and mail are better than online um, because if you dispute online, they force feed it right into a system called eOscar. But when it comes to credit systems, you're okay with any of the three. Fax, phone, or mail are going to be your best results. So consider one of those options, whichever is easier, more convenient for you. Now, information you could dispute. You could dispute the personal information. You can dispute the information that's being reported, inquiries initiated by consumer action, okay, strategy, uh, check cashing, inquiries, okay, not initiated by consumer action, retail information, history of checks ordered, social security validation, driver's license validation, additional information, unknown. I mean, basically, look, I mean, make it easy. Anything on a credit report, you can dispute, period. The, the law of Fair Credit Reporting Act gives you the ability to do so. So this is just some of the common information that you may actually see. So Check Systems, again, is an overview, works with banks and lenders. Their primary goal is they're a reporting agency that basically supplies banking history to their customers, and most of their customers are other banks issuing bank accounts, typically. 
systems. Well, it's who's using check system. They report on account management and mismanagement like non-sufficient funds, overdrafts, uh, the fact that you had a negative balance and walked away and abandoned the account. So you can dispute online, phone, paper, mail, or fax. Okay, and we talked about here, more than likely, phone, mail, and fax are better because any online disputes with the Fair Credit Reporting Act go right into a system called EOSCAR. You're saving them time. You're making it easy for the credit issuer to respond. You want to make it as hard for them to respond as possible. Paper, fax, and phone are best. Why do you want to make it as hard as to respond as possible? The, the harder you make it for the credit issuer, in this case, the bank, to actually verify the information, the greater chance you have of the information not being verified and getting removed. So what happens is, let's say you dispute the information on a Chase bank account. Well, then they, you go to check systems, you dispute it, they send this dispute to Chase. If Chase never responds to that dispute, the item by default automatically is deleted in 30 days. Okay, so that's a huge benefit. If they don't respond, it's better. So you don't want to give it to them online because if you give it to them online, then check systems just automatically filters it right through the online dispute engine eOSCAR and it goes right to chase in this example. Instead, follow, focus on phone, focus on mail, focus on fax. It puts another barrier in between you and them, which then makes it harder to dispute or harder for them to verify, which gives you a greater chance of the account getting removed. Provide written documentation, any verification you have to what you're saying, but again, you don't have to be clear about what you're disputing. Look, I never had a bank account with this institution. Look, I never had a non-sufficient funds. I never overdrew the account. We'll be very specific of exactly what it is. So if I'm processing a consumer credit dispute, for example, the account number is it being wrong is a different dispute than the payment history being wrong. So be clear about what you're disputing. It pays to provide all documentation and support at the start because, again, if you were to come in and you were to then say, oh, man, I have documentation now or I have something else to dispute that could prolong the results by two weeks or more. Investigations could take a month to a month and a half. So be patient. The Fair Credit Reporting Act only gives 30 days for a what is called quote unquote reasonable investigation to take place. But then I'm saying it could be a month and a half because you have to calculate mail time in of how long it took for you to mail a letter and it be received by them. That's why fax will save you a couple days because you don't have to mail it. So the Fair Credit Reporting Act gives them 30 days to do the full investigation uh, and then be able to render a decision for you. So hopefully that helps you. We covered it all, right? What check systems is, who they are, what they do, who they are, how they work, how to get your free credit report, how to uh, put and release security freezes on your credit report, how to do disputes, multiple different ways to dispute. You now have the address, you have the phone number, you have the fax number. So you now have everything you need to understand how check systems works and to process a dispute if need be. But hey, look, if nothing else, get your credit report. It doesn't hurt to know what this credit report says about you because banks are using it. So you might as well see it as well. So if nothing else, go ahead, grab your free check systems report. That way you can avoid issues before they occur. If you see there are problems, you could dispute them before you ever get caught up trying to open a bank account and be told then that there are issues. Uh, it's definitely something to consider doing. And then again, you now know the process to process any disputes if there are information on your report that you feel to be inaccurate. If you have any other questions on this topic or anything related, to business credit building or obtaining financing through the banking system, then give us a ring, 877-600-2487. Uh, That's 877-600-2487 or info at creditsuite.com. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on iTunes as well. You can listen on the go. And then don't forget on the top right of our social of our website, creditsuite.com, there's all kinds of social media links where we share tips daily on Instagram, on Twitter, hundreds of videos on YouTube. We go live every week on Facebook and YouTube as well. So there's a lot of great resources on topics such as this that are all designed to help make it as easy as possible for you to obtain credit and financing, especially for the purpose of growing your business. Thanks, everybody, very much for tuning in. Now you know everything you need to know about check systems. If you have any questions or get stuck along the way, reach out to us and give us a call, send us an email so we can do to help. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.